Welcome back to The Fever, everyone, for our City Player of the Week. And this week's honor goes to one running back who put up some big numbers in Coronado's 20-9 win over Lubbock High. Here's George with more. All right, thanks, Travis. Here with uh, Kendall Robinson and Coronado this year, or this week's Player of the Week. Kendall with a with a big game in the win over rival Lubbock High, running for 167 yards, 28 carries, a pretty big workload. Kendall this week, talk about kind of getting that kind of workload, something you're not really used to. Yes, sir. Um, it was a pretty good game, and Coach Henderson told me all week that I uh, play at my ability that I can, and so I came out and was ready to play at that level. Were you expecting that many carries? I mean, but it just seemed kind of like maybe the game dictated it, but really, especially in the second half, controlling the game with the running game. Yes, um, I wasn't really expecting too many carries. Uh, I like a uh, pretty uh, spread around guy. I mean, whoever can get it and do that job. And that night it was me, and I was glad to have had that job on my hands. Is it, is it tough or is it different being a, a running back in this offense, an offense that, that throws the ball so much? I mean, you're, a, you're an accomplished receiver and good coming out of the backfield, but, but running sometimes kind of gets lost in this offense. Yes, um, you have to be well conditioned and you got to be able to move around not only with the ball in your hands, but throwing to you. You have to be ready to catch and run and make plays like that too. So I guess I got to be ready doing that too. So, you know. T- t- one thing Coach talked about was when the, the thing that's impressive with you is that he likes is is that once you kind of get through the hole, your first burst of speed is really quick to get into the linebackers and, and the secondaries. There's something about, you know, your ability hitting the hole and, and kind of getting through it quick that, that's kind of unique for you? Yes. Uh, well, I mean, Coach, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he always talks to me about uh, using my abilities and my speed. And so I don't take anything for granted. I, I hit the hole when I can and do it as, to the best of my abilities. Now talk about you guys are sitting two and two in district now in kind of a bottleneck with with Amarillo and and Monterey, a, a long way ahead, but a key game this week against Midland. Talk about kind of getting on back on the track against Lubbock High. Now you had a big big game at Midland this week. Yeah, Midland. There we've looked at film and everything. They look like a very team, you know, team that's going to go out and play, and we're just a team to ready to face up and stand up and get ready to take them and we're going to be ready for them when it comes down to a Friday night. You feel like after this past Friday night you know, and the way you guys showed the ability to run the ball that, that defenses maybe have to start changing their game plan against you guys a little bit? Well I hope so you know <laughs> 168 yards not to brag anything I hope <laughs> I hope that's uh hope that gives them a uh, more of a challenge to change it up on their defense and give our offense more options to look at now that we've uh, established our good running game. Yeah, well, I guarantee you, it's not bragging when you can back it up. Kendall Robertson with a big game this week. Travis, back to you. All right, George, obviously a big game for Robertson this past week and really putting together a bigger running game for Coach Henderson. Yeah, it was, it was a big uh, big deal for, uh, for, for Robertson to be able to do that and the fact that you know he helped uh, you know when, when the passing game wasn't going so good for Coronado, you know, like I said, Chris Camp was, was struggling a little bit, you know, with, with some of his throws, but they were really able to lean on Robertson. He only had 186 yards of rushing going into the game, finishes with 167, so a, a, a big, big uh, boost for Coronado by Robertson. Now maybe gives him a little bit added uh, added uh, weapon on offense that other teams are going to have to scout on and maybe loosen things up a little bit for that passing game. So maybe that's something extra they take into that game with Midland this next week, yeah. this weekend, playing the Bulldogs up there. Some of the other players from around the area, of course, we've got the Idaloo Tanners. Cook, we've talked to, we always talk about him. He gains more yards rushing, does a lot of stuff on defense as well. But then Tanner Keith really gets involved in that defense, pressures the quarterback, and Idaloo really doing a good job on defense as well to complement their running game. Yeah, we always talk about Idaloo's offense, and, and, and rightly so, you know, the way they put up numbers and the way they run the ball. But, you know, the defense for, for Idaloo has been outstanding, you know, ever since I've, I've been here and ever since I've known Coach Taylor. You know, and, and Tanner Keith, again, you know, had the big game, a couple of sacks, three quarterback pressures against Denver City, which Denver City throws the ball so much. That's that's big when you're getting pressure in the backfield against a, against a team like Denver City and, and just kind of really rounds out how good Idaloo is out there. And we talked a little bit about, of course, Cook and some of the other runners in that 3-2A, but Abernathy, Peyton Rogers. Again, again, over 200 yards again <laughs> and five touchdowns in a single game. Second week in a row for, for uh, Peyton Rodgers and, and was able to, uh, to to see him run last week. You know, he's, he's kind of big and bulky. He's got some big shoulder pads and, you know, with the big neck brace, you know, back on his neck, you know, you know but but he runs straight up. It's almost kind of like Eric Dickerson a little bit <laughs> in watching him run. I mean, but he's so shifty and, and fast that, you know, it's hard for defenses. You know, I mean, you can't arm tackle him at all. Like you said, another another game with 200 yards rushing, five touchdowns, that, that gives him about – 400 yards and, and, and 10 touchdowns the last two weeks. So, you know, just an outstanding job by Abernathy, and he's a big reason why they're sitting up there with uh, Littlefield and with Idaloo in the district standings. 
All right, up next, George will take a look inside that Smash Mouth football at Idaloo when he visits with Wildcats head coach Johnny Taylor for our Chalk Talk session right here on The Fever.